Hello, and thank you for stopping by. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. If you are not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when new videos arrive. Well, it's a new day. Donald Trump has left and went back to Florida, and Joe Biden has moved into the White House. On the 6th of January, you had a lot of people storm the Capitol building, bragging about storming the Capitol building, happy to be a part of all of this, thinking they were doing what Donald Trump had wanted them to do. Then they had a bite of a reality sandwich, and they realized that by doing what Donald Trump had asked, they're going to be going to jail. Lots and lots of them begged and pleaded for Donald Trump to give them a pardon. If they could have seen into the future and realized that this was going to put them in prison, do you think they would have went ahead and went done with it? I honestly think they might have. I don't really think that, uh, I don't really believe in their heart that they knew what they were doing, per se. Um, then again, maybe they did. Maybe they understood what they were doing. People still think Donald Trump is going to get elected again, that he's going to get a second term. There are those that have had their heads buried in the sand, listening to all of the prophetic prophets on the news, I mean, on uh, YouTube, and, uh, um, oh, what's it called? Prosperity prophets, yeah. Prosperity prophets telling you that not to give up. Don't lose faith. Everything's going to work out for its, for the best. And... All while, Donald Trump had no intention of going to the Capitol building. He had no intentions of storming the Capitol building. He had no intentions of um, doing anything to harm the new uh, regime, so to speak, um, the new administration. Donald Trump had brought about mass crime. All of the people that stormed the Capitol building are now going to prison. And the ones that are not going to prison are extremely lucky that they're not doing a prison sentence. Do I think Donald Trump should deserve to go to prison for this? Yes, I do. I think Donald Trump is guilty. And I think the ones that uh, were in the, um, that were in the Capitol building some of the senators and the House representatives that helped orchestrate this whole thing, that gave them access, the police that allowed them to just storm the Capitol building, I think all of them should be held accountable. And I think they should pay the price. Now, having said that, I'm kind of wondering if maybe we should not be a little more like Abraham Lincoln. When the Civil War was over, he did not think that the South should be punished. He believed that the South should just be allowed to come in and that the South should um, just be open, well, welcomed back with open arms. That, yeah, they made a mistake. It's over. They'll come back now. Just don't do it again. I'm not really for sure if that's what should happen. But that's just my take on it. I'm kind of torn because we've never faced this before. And I think that um, I think they should be held responsible. What do you think? Do you think they should be? Put your comment below. Um, if you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. If you uh, have any, like I said, if you have any thoughts on this, put it in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Do you think they should be held responsible? Do you not think they should be held responsible? If you don't think they should be, let people know why. Don't make it stupid, but 
try to put a little thought behind it. Let people at least get the idea that you're serious about why you think that way. If you think they should go to prison, put that down there as well. I'm going to let you go on that. It's just something really quick. Um, I've got a green screen that I'm using now, uh, hoping that it'll work uh, the way it's supposed to. Um, I got tired of looking at my apartment and my videos. So I am going to let you go on that note. Um, remember, make tomorrow better than yesterday by doing the very best we can today. Have a good afternoon, America, and all points beyond.